It's been nearly two weeks now since Aurora police officers shot and killed a 14 year old boy. Police say Jordell Richardson was involved in a robbery and refused commands to put down a gun. Now this is video. This is the foot chase before officers tackled him. And we have decided to stop the video before it shows the officer shooting the teenager. The gun Richardson, the teen had later was determined to be a pellet gun. Aurora police say they're dedicated to transparency in this investigation, but Richardson's family, they still have a lot of questions. And for the first time, Denver 7's Colette Bordelon sits down with his mother and her attorney. He was a sweet kid. There's a lot Lori Littlejohn misses. Him telling me that how much he loved me. Her son, Jordell Richardson, was 14. And how much I love him. Her sister and Richardson's dad are sitting with her for support. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I don't know what to do, where to turn, what's my next move. Get on the ground, Lord, please. This is body-worn camera video from June 1st. Get on the ground, I'm gonna chase you. Aurora police say it shows Richardson running from them after an alleged robbery at a convenience store. What goes the f gun? I'm gonna shoot you. Another officer's camera shows Richardson right before he's tackled. Uh, here's a close-up of uh, Jordal, and again, his hand is uh, in, in, in the vicinity of his uh, waistband. Aurora police say one of the people who reported Richardson claimed he had a gun. We'd like to know why the chief waited so long to tell the public that it was a pellet gun. The body-worn camera footage shows after Richardson was tackled. You got me! He was shot and killed. I'm sorry! Do you think you'll ever watch that video? No. The family's attorneys are waiting to see the city's investigation and want to conduct their own before deciding if they'll possibly sue or settle. We want to know why Officer Gruzeska chose to fire the shot after Jordell had clearly surrendered to both officers. This is a cruel world. But a world she wishes still had her son in it. Colette Bordelon, Denver 7. A memorial and procession is planned for Richardson on Friday. The family's attorney says one of the officers involved in this case has a settlement on their record for racial discrimination. The city of Aurora confirmed there was a settlement of $100,000 back in February.